Hello, Magic Casters of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance, and welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the 69th episode of our second level spell series. Can I get a nice down there in the comment section? In any case, today we are covering an interesting spell. Um, I got a bone to pick with this one, but I'll talk about that a little bit later on. We're talking about Snillox Snowball Swarm, which is kind of funny that it's our 69th spell, but whatever, not to dwell on it. Um, this spell is found in the Elemental Evil Player's Companion. Once again, lots of very flavorful spells in there, and it is usable by the Sorcerer and the Wizard. Now, let's take a quick look at its mechanics, and hopefully you'll be able to tell me what you see wrong with it. So, your damage is 3d6, plus an additional d6 per spell slot level above second. The effect, at a glance, hit creatures within range with magic snowballs. Your cast time is 1 action, the range is an impressive 90 feet, but the radius is only 5 feet. The duration is instantaneous, the components are the Holy Trinity, so somatic, material, and verbal. And if you're curious about that material component, it is a piece of ice or a small white rock chip, so pretty easy to come by. The saving throw is dexterity, and on a success they take half damage. The school is evocation, and the damage type is unsurprisingly cold. So, yeah, I just... I like the range, but I don't like the damage, and I really don't like the effect. I feel like they could have done a lot more with this spell. Um, maybe something involving movement, I think, would have been really interesting, but, uh, oh well, I can't change too, too much. Now, let's take a quick look at the full description here and better flesh out exactly how the spell works. A flurry of magic snowballs erupts from a point you choose within range. Each creature in a 5 foot radius sphere centered on that point must make a dexterity saving throw. A creature takes 3d6 cold damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful one. At higher levels when you cast this spell using the spell slot of 3rd level or higher, the damage increases by 1d6 per each slot level above 2nd. Very interesting stuff. Once again, I really don't like the damage potential on this. I think Ice Knife is actually a much better choice. But whatever, in any case, I really struggled with coming up with some alternative uses, but I'll let you know what I do have. So, first and foremost, this is a great spell if you're planning on taking out multiple people. It is not the best spell for this particular use, however, I find Shatter is a little bit better, certainly better damage potential. The only downside to Shatter that doesn't really affect this one is Shatter affects objects, where this one does not. So there is that slight advantage to it, which is pretty interesting. Also this one works a little bit better with the Draconic Bloodline Sorcerer, so there is that to it, I suppose. And another alternative use, whether or not it's good or not, I'll leave you to decide, is it just really helps deal with hot weather. Sure, you damage your allies, but at the same time, if they're in a place that's damaging them already due to heat or exhaustion, it might be worth the trade-off. Although you could argue that Shape Water is a much better choice for this, I don't know, I'm kind of struggling with this one. The way it's worded doesn't leave a whole lot of room for flexibility. That being said though, if you can come up with any alternative uses, thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, please put it down beneath in the comments section, I really do appreciate it. Also, if you like that cool hand-drawn picture of Sips and you'd like your own hand-drawn D&D picture, please check out the guild hall to figure out exactly how to do that. That being said, thank you so much, I really do appreciate it everyone. I hope you have a great day and as always, happy casting!